I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of a question from my subscriber Brian and let me thank all the viewers and subscribers who have been writing excellent questions and comments. The question here is a closed rectangular box is made of very thin metal and its length is three times its width. If the volume of the box is 288 cm cube, show that its surface area S is given by S equals to 768 by X plus 6X square centimeter square, where X is the width of the box. Find by differentiation the least surface area. Let me first congratulate you that you have excellent teachers. They actually give you part of the solution. So even if you don't know how to derive the first expression, you can do the second part, that is to find the least surface area. In our time, that was a catch, right? They were, we were never provided with the part solution and they used to be following three, four questions to do. Okay, so let's begin with this solution. A closed rectangular box. So let me make a box first. And what we are given here is that its length is three times width. What we don't know is the height, right? But we are given the volume. So that helps. So if width is x, three times x is the length. And let us say that height is h. Since the volume is equal to 288, we'll take care of units later, we can find a relation between x and h, right? That's the whole idea. So, as you know, volume is equal to length into width into height. So, it could be h times 3x times x. So, from here, we can say that 288 divided by 3x square is equal to height. Clear? Now, we want to find an expression for surface area. It has six surfaces, correct? So, we can say front, back, sides, top and bottom. So, surface area S is equals to twice sum of these three surfaces. So, front, for example, is 3xh, so let's write 3xh, plus on the side, the surface is x times h. And the bottom part and the top part is 3x square. So let's add this up. So we have 2 times 3 plus 1, 4xh, plus 3x square. Now we can substitute the value of h which is 288 over 3x square in this particular equation. Right? So, so let's do it. What we will do also is open this bracket. So we have 2 times 4 as 8. So we have 8x and instead of h I am going to write 288 over 3x square. Now we have plus 3x square. Right? Now this expression can be simplified. We can multiply 8 by 288 and then divide by 3. We get 768 as required. Right? So when you do that, you get 768 and also note that one of these x cancels with this, right? So, so we can write this as 768 over x plus, I forgot to multiply 3 and 2, sorry for that. See, it helps. So we have to multiply 2 with both, right? So 3 times 2 is 6. So we get 6x square. 
so we have done the first part that is we have shown that the surface area is indeed 768 over x plus 6x squared right so I hope that part is simple absolutely clear but we were just about to make a mistake also okay let's do the next part that is involving calculus where we'll try to find the least surface area so to find least surface area the strategy is we'll differentiate the surface area with respect to x and equate it to zero to find critical numbers right and then we'll analyze those critical numbers so let us differentiate with respect to x so we get ds dx equals 2 this gives you minus 768 over x square and that gives you plus 12x correct now as you know for critical number we're trying to find critical number correct then we'll analyze it so for critical number this should be equal to zero that's the whole idea so if I equate it to zero and bring this term to one side or let me first uh, simplify this a bit more in a way so what we will do here is that we will write ds dx as equal to x square is common let me write the positive term first 12 x cube minus 768 okay. now we'll equate this to 0 to find the critical number so what do we get let's do it here we get 12 x cube equals to 768 or x cube equals to 768 over 12 cube root. Let's find this out. 768 divided by 12 and then we want cube root of our answer which is equal to 4. So I mean so x is cube root of all this which is equal to 4 so 4 is the critical number now we can actually find if it is maximum or a minimum so we are going to analyze 4 so we'll analyze ds dx on either side of 4 so we have x equals to 4 here so let's take a test point so we'll take a test point less than 4 so let's say 3 and more than 4 let's say 5 so these are the test points for us now if you substitute 3 here then what happens if I substitute 3 I get a value which is negative right so we have 12 times 3 cube is 324 right so if you take away from 768 you get a negative answer so that means the derivative is negative negative means function is decreasing but if I substitute in this expression 5 I get 12 times 5 q minus 768 in that case I get positive now positive negative rate of change is negative means function is decreasing rate of change is positive means function is increasing that means at 4 we have minimum does make sense right so we have shown that at 4 we have minimum so for x equals to 4 we have minimum surface area Now we have to find the least surface area. That means the formula which we derived was 768. We'll substitute x equals to 4 here, right? So we get 4 plus 6, 4 square. And we can calculate how many centimeters square it is. 
So let's do it. We have 768 divided by 4 and we'll add 6 times 4 square which is 16 so we get 288. So we get 288 centimeter square as the least surface area for this particular rectangular box. Okay? So that is how you could actually get your answer. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe my video, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.